All right, guys, I'm going to start off showing the firemen's. We're not going to spend a lot of time doing the firemen's. I just want to show you the importance of pulling this arm. All right, I'm a left leg lead guy, so a lot of stuff I'll show with the left leg lead. If y'all need to see it with the right leg lead, just let me know. Okay? The way I like to start with my firemen's, I'm going to get my thumb next to my pointer finger right here, and I'm going to grab in the armpit. Okay? I don't want to be down here by the elbow in the armpit. Gabby's being a good partner doing what? Grabbing my elbow, right? He's not just dangling his arm like this. He's being a good partner. We're both in a good stance right here, okay? Am I just going to swing my arm up here like this and reach? No, I'm going to close the gap first. Elbows in, close the gap, get my inside tie, forehead to simple, right there, okay? Look at where my arm is. I'm getting in the armpit, keeping my elbow in, okay? I don't want to have long arms right here. Keeping my elbow in right here. So now for my fireman. I'm stepping between the leg, between the leg. All right, I taught a little kid's camp the other day. Like I was telling them, I have to penetrate here. So I'm pretending like there's glass between his feet. I got to break the glass, break the glass right here. If I just drop to a knee, that's a lot of ground to cover. So I got to break the glass, step in between his feet right here, drop to one knee, my lead knee right here. As I drop to my other knee, that's when I pull this arm in tight and cinch it in here, okay? The arm is very important. That's the whole point of doing the fireman's first. So as I go here, I close the gap, elbows in, forehead is simple, right there, I got head position. I'm breaking the glass between his knee. One thing I didn't say yet, I like to wrap right here. I'm wrapping, my first knee hits, then my second knee hits, cinching everything in tight. See that, see how tight this is? If it's loose, he's gonna be falling off the back. I'm not leaning forward like this, okay? Everything's tight. I'm not sitting back with my laces right here, am I? I'm up on my toes right here on both knees. Wrap this tight, pull the arm tight. Close the gap, got my inside tight, got my head position, break the glass, wrap, go to both knees, okay? Now from here, I'm gonna fall to my arm side hip. Okay, I don't want you staying up, because if I stay up and try to hit a fireman's, he can turn into a scramble, do a handstand, do all kinds of stuff. Okay, I want you falling to your hip. Here, pulling the arm, I'm falling to my hip. The arm pull is more important than anything. Pull, 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 fall to my hip. As soon as I hit my hip, then I toss the leg. Okay, I'm hanging on to the leg till the last second. Break the glass. Here. Fell to my hip. Okay? Look at this arm pull. I'm going to do it one time without grabbing the leg so you can see the importance of pulling the arm. Alright? We're not going to spend a lot of time here. I just really want y'all to understand how important it is to have a good tie and cinch that arm tight, okay? One time with a right leg lead. This might be ugly. Oh, it's still pretty good. All right, let's work on it. Ready, one, two. All right, some of y'all are still keeping this arm loose and you're going like this and pulling it off. Like pulling it, like you're over rotating, I guess. The best way to put it. Elbow in. All right, if you're, if a guy, if you stand up, right? If my arms are here, what's Gabby gonna do? Lock his hands, right? So I gotta be able to seal off here so he can't get his hands through there. Same thing, as soon as I get this arm, I'm sealing my elbow to my side and it's staying there, okay? Now I don't even need the leg necessarily. All I gotta do is fall to my hip, right here, cover. All right, like I said, we're not going to spend a lot of time here. I just wanted y'all to see the importance of really pulling that arm. Okay, everybody understand? So now we're going to go to front headlock stuff. So just playing off of what we already did, say I tried to hit a fireman's right here and got me defended, okay? All right, if, if Gabby, if I go to a front headlock position and Gabby keeps his underhook, Right here, does everybody know what this position is? So for most of y'all, the guy will have a right-handed underhook because you had a left-handed tie, right? Because I tie with my what? Trail hand, right? 
So most of the guys are going to have, by the time I shoot this, they're going to have a left hand underhook. Okay? So I'm going to do it from this side. So I'm stuck underneath right here. All right? Gabby doesn't have a good front headlock here because outside me is up. Or down, I mean. Okay? If I was in a good, if Gabby was in a good front headlock, his outside knee would be up. Say his outside knee is down right here. So the first thing I'm going to do, say both knees are down, I'm just going to do it. It's called a dunk. All right? This guy got lazy. He dropped both knees to the mat. I'm still keeping this arm glued to my side right here. Okay? I never let this loosen up. If I let it loosen up, it's just because I'm talking to you guys. Now all I'm doing is keeping this glue to my side. Just going to grab his leg just like a regular fireman's. And I'm going to follow my hip just like I did before. Pop my head out immediately. Okay? So be a good partner and go to both knees for right now. I shoot, he, does, he goes down, he's going to both knees. I never let this loosen up right here. Grabbing leg just like my fireman's and I'm going to follow my hip. That's another reason I wanted y'all to fall to your hip because if you just if you just stay up here, you won't feel that pull and how that fall to your hip gets him over. So I just grab the leg, cinch this in tight, fall to my hip, pop my head out, cover. Okay? If y'all can't see, get to where you can see. Some of you aren't even looking at me, so I know you can't see very well. So I caught fireman's. He did a good job defending. He went to both knees because he's being a good partner. Grabbing the leg, keeping this tight, dumping it, popping my head up. Okay, dummy man, be a good partner and follow both knees for right now. All right, let's try it. Ready? One, two. Okay. Just because it's a troubleshoot position, I don't want you shooting your fireman's like this. Look at my elbow. The whole point of showing you guys the fireman's was so you learn how to cinch that arm tight. Even if I'm drilling here, I cinch this arm tight. I go to my good position, he sprawls here, pulling everything tight, popping my head out, covering. Okay? Drill correctly, keep that arm tight the whole time. Like I said, this is a troubleshoot position. It's not just for a fireman. Say I took a bad shot, just a generic bad shot. He goes underhook instead of front headlock. He's on both knees. I'm grabbing it, cinching everything in tight, going. All right, keep going. Go, keep going. Hey, some of you still aren't keeping that arm tight. So if we have to, I'm going to start on my knees, and he's going to dig an underhook with his right hand. Okay? I'm going to start right here, instead of him getting the front headlock. I pull everything tight, and he's on both knees. That's when I dump. If he has this leg up, I'm going to do something else, because if I go here, and he's flexible and has this leg up, I go here, he can step over, and I'm in trouble. Okay, we're going to go to something else in a minute off that. So dummy man, make sure you're on both knees. Still correct, just keeping this arm tight. Dump it. Some of you still aren't going to your hip. You're just falling to your head and expecting him to go over. I still have to pull this tight and go to my hip. Alright, I give him a little extra bump with my elbow if I have to. Alright, popping my head out. We're going to work on this another couple minutes. Dummy man, be a good partner and go to both knees for right now. In a match, don't do that. But here, for the sake of your partner, go to both knees. Pull the arm, pop your head out. Keep working on it. Ready? One, two. Quick little. Uh, if I have a front headlock, all right? Say I have a, we got to this front headlock position, I get an underhook. If my underhook side knee is down, he's going to do what? We just went over this. He's going to dump me, right? So, from a front headlock, just to get this point across in a match, I have to have my outside leg up. So whatever arm he has, okay, this is the front headlock, just so you know, right? So if, he, if I start feeling him grabbing my elbow, no matter what side, that's now my outside leg, so I got to get that leg up, all right? So if I go front headlock and he grabs an underhook, I got to get that leg up. If I keep my knee down, you're going to get dumped. That's why we're doing this. Okay? So, like I said earlier, if he's on both knees, I do a dump. If he's on one knee, right, he doesn't get his outside leg up like we just showed right here. He's on one knee. He's on one knee. He doesn't think about it. Now I'm going to do a knee tap. 
pretend like he's on a knee. I just want everybody to see. This knee's on the mat. Just pretend. I'm going to take my palm and face him, reach across his body, and touch the outside of his knee. Okay? Touch the outside of his knee. Like I said, if he's on one knee and I try to dunk, he can step over. And I'm in trouble. So now, if he has one knee down and not two, that's when I go knee tap. There is a difference. This is a dunk. When I'm grabbing the leg from our knees, this is a knee tap. All right? If he's on two knees, what do I do? What do I do if he's on one knee? Okay. So I go knee tap. Do the exact same thing. Keep the arm glued to my side. Fall to my hip. Here, pop my head up. Cover. Okay? That's very important that you understand the difference. How many of y'all seen a guy trying to hit a fireman's and then get stepped over? I'm sure everybody in here has probably seen it happen at least once. That's because the guy had a leg up and he stepped over it. The guy should have knee tapped. Okay? So I shoot it on Gabby. Hey, from now on, just to save a little bit of time, everybody's starting the short offense position. Okay? So I'm right here. He has one knee up, one knee down. Knee tap. Hey, dummy man, if you need to know what knee to put down, it's the side that I have his arm. So I have Gabby's right arm. His right knee needs to be on the mat. My palm does what? Faces him. I don't want to be up here on his hip, do I? Because he can keep circling. I want to be right here on his knee, fall to my hip, pull the arm, pop my head out. Hopefully get backs. Okay? One more time. If he's on two knees, I do a what? Dump. If he's on one knee, I do a what? Yeah. Knee tap. Knee tap. Okay? Somebody asked me earlier, they had a really good question. They were like, from the dump, do I hang on to the leg? I don't want to hang on to it too long, because if I hang on to it too long, even if I get into his hip, he can still scramble from here. Okay? That's why I want to bail and pop my head out. I'm going to let go of the leg and pop my head out and cover it. Okay? So let's work on our knee tap. Palm face the guy. Dummy man, be a good partner, one knee down. Ready, one, two. I don't want to do all this work and then not score. Right? So if I do this to Marvin and don't hit my hip, I say even if it works, even if this works a little bit, and he stays square to the mat, right here, I can't pop my head out because his hips stay square. Because I stayed up on my hip, all I gotta do is face back up, and we're in the same position. But if I knee tap and hit my hip, there, now I can pop my head out. Does everybody see the difference there? That's why I want you to hit your hip and do what? Pull the arm, all right? Keep going. Far. No, does everybody understand what we're doing? What's the most important part? Arm pull, right? If he's on two knees, what am I doing? If he's on one knee, what am I doing? Am I backhanding him or am I palming it? Palming it, that's right. Okay? Do I? If he's in a front headlock here and he has a deep chin, and I grab the elbow, right? What knee needs to be up for him? For me not to be able to dump it. The side that I have, right? So if this side's down, I can still dump that. Right? Yes? Everybody understand the concept there? All right, so now we're going to move on. He's still front headlock defense, but now if the guy's a good front headlock, okay? So what defines a good front headlock? Briefly. If I'm right-handed, so if I'm a right leg lead, okay, right leg lead, that's the one that doesn't make an L, right? I'm going to have a shallow hand on the chin here and a shallow hand in the armpit here, keeping his head covered, elbow in. I don't want his head popping out here, do I? Here, okay, outside leg up. In this case, my outside leg is the uh, arm that's on the uh, arm. Arm to arm, right? Because I can also go underhook here. If he grabs it, I gotta have my outside leg up so I don't get dumped, correct? This is a front headlock. So now we end, we're wrestling, we end up in a front headlock position, and the top guy, me this time, is doing everything right. So dummy man, I'm the dummy man this time, I'm doing everything right, getting in a good front headlock, 
give this guy a feel. Okay? So, we're in a good front headlock position. Here. If I hang out here, he's going to score. So if I stay on two knees and just sit here and wait for him to do something, I'm going to be in trouble. So I need to clear out of this position. All right? So the first way we're going to learn it is from our feet. So we're getting a good front headlock and then stand up. We're still on a good front headlock. The side that is in my armpit, I'm going to push off the hip. Okay? Push off the hip. The other side, it's around my head. I'm going to grab that elbow right there. So hip and elbow. Okay? If I see that, same side, same side. I'm not reaching across my body. Does everybody understand that? Same side, same side. I'm not reaching across right now. Good front headlock, same side, same side. Now I'm going to push off the hip to get space. As I pull the arm down, and I gotta get my head across his body. What I mean by that is, if I'm pushing his hip away, that's giving me space over here, so I gotta get my head across his body. Okay? He's got my head with this arm, so if I take it this way, it's just gonna make it tighter, right? So I'm pushing his hip away so I can get space as I push his elbow in. That just made a good partner in circling to give me a realistic feel. If he just stands there, it's not going to give me a good feel. So we're in a front headlock. Okay? I learned this position. So now we're going to stand up just so I can learn a little bit better. Same side hip, same side elbow. Push the hip away. Get the head across the body as I push his elbow away. Circling, circling. In my good stance. All right? Does everybody understand the position? We'll take it to the mat here in a second. So one more time. Gabby's in a good front headlock. His knees aren't dropping. He doesn't have an underhook. Nothing of that sort. Same side elbow. Same side hip. And I'm pushing away. Get my head across his body. If I just try to circle, he's going to follow. Right? That's why I push hip, push elbow, slide my head across his body. Everybody see that? Why am I keeping this elbow? Huh? Well, I have control, so if I feel a shot coming, I can down block, do whatever. Okay? Does everybody understand the position? Alright, let's try it. Ready? One, two. Alright? This is an important skill, so I want y'all to get this. Even if we don't get to the next thing, I don't care. I want y'all to understand what's going on. I'm not... Gabby doesn't have a front hat or an underhook anymore. Okay? We fall to the mat, I take a shot, he gets a good front headlock. Okay? So, hook, same side. Elbow. Guys, I can't back out of this. Gabby's trying to score here. He's not going to let me just back out. I'm pushing off his hip, pushing the elbow. Whenever I push the arm that's around my neck, I'm pretending like I'm pushing it to his far hip. Okay? And I'm circling out of this. Pretend like he has going for a headlock. I'm pushing this to the far hip, get my head across his body. And I'm going to try to run hip to hip with him. Ideally, I want to try to run hip to hip with him. I can't just back out of this. Okay? I got to push the hip away to get space. I got to push his elbow to his far hip. That allows me to push my head across his body. And I'm trying to circle hip to hip. He's being a good partner and giving me a good feel. And so it makes me feel like I'm in a match. So front headlock, pushing his hip away. Pushing his elbow to his far hip as I circle, he's going to circle also. Right there. Does that make more sense? Did I do a bad job the first time? If I did, I apologize. Push the hip away, head across, elbow to far hip. Okay? Sorry I'm rushing, but we don't have very long. Let's get back at it. One, two. The side that he has my head. I'm circling to the side that he has my head. All right? I got to get my head across his body, too. So it doesn't matter what side he has his front headlock on. If he has my head with this arm, I'm circling this way. If he has my head with this arm, I'm circling this way. And I'm not just circling either. I'm also getting into him. I'm getting into him. Right? It's hard to take a shot when you're on your heels, right? So I'm circling and getting into him. Circle to the side that he has your head. Okay? Some of y'all don't know the difference between left and right, I think. All right? 
Let's work on it. Keep going. One, two. The idea it's a little bit harder to do this from the mat. Okay? So either Gabby snagged me to a front headlock or I took a bad shot. Either way, I'm in the front head. Front head, not under the front head. Okay? It's the same thing. I can't hang out here or he's going to plant my face in the mat and circle behind me. Right? So I got to move. First of all, I'm going to grab this elbow right here to loosen up what he has on my chin. Second of all, to keep him from squaring on me as much, I've got to post the far hip to get space. i got to step up, right? Step up and immediately start getting into him and circling here, just like before, except it's from the mat, okay? And I know it's kind of hard to tell, but I'm getting into him more than it looks like. All right, if I'm just circling here, he can match the circle. Right, we can circle at pretty much the same pace. If I circle and get into him, it helps me get my head out. See that? Now we're on the mat, he has a good front headlock. Okay, I'm grabbing the elbow, pushing on the far hip, getting into him and circling, clearing my front head. Okay, which way am I circling? The arm side or the head side? Head side. Head side. All right, let's try it from the mat. Ready, one, two. It's just feel awkward the whole time. Don't show it to me. I want to see if you're doing it right. Mike blue shirt, right there. First one, raise your hand. Where's your partner? Where's your partner? Let's see it. Let's see it. That went bad. Make sure you grab the arm and stuff before you come up. Okay? He's not gonna let me just come up. If I'm doing a front headlock on Gabby right here. I'm going to be pulling and snapping and pulling, right? He's not going to let me just stand up to my feet. Good job. Let's down. Give him five. Ready? One, two, clap. All right. Like I said, from right here, I'm going to be pulling and doing all this stuff. I'm not going to let Gabby just come to his feet. That's why he's grabbing the elbow and pushing off my hip. Right? Yes? Yes? All right. Acknowledgement would be nice. So, I'm on the mat right here. i got to push off this hip. Another thing, guys, I didn't make a good point of saying this. Hey, pay attention. Some of y'all are doing this. You're standing straight up from here. I'm going to get in trouble. I, I didn't say this, but I did this. Once I start going, I'm coming up as I circle. As I circle. If I stand straight up, there's all kinds of things he can hit me with. Okay? Another thing, I saw one of my guys do this, and I saw some of you other guys do this too. Once y'all are getting to this position, right? So I started on the mat. Y'all are doing a good job of getting here, right? Some of you are planting your feet and then just trying to, like, elbow pass it and doing one jerking motion here. That's not what I'm doing. I'm moving my feet. This is a grind. This isn't a plant your feet and hope it works. I'm grinding this out. Grinding this out. Getting into it because I don't want to get scored on. I'm clearing the position. Right? I'm clearing the position. So I'm not just planting my feet and trying to make this work. I'm grinding this out. Alright, this doesn't look pretty, but it keeps me from getting scored on. Does everybody understand that position? This is a short offense position. Alright? So now, say it's later in the match. He got me in a front headlock. He gets a little bit tired, and the hand that's around the chin slips a little bit deeper. So now we're going to sucker drag out, okay? This is called a sucker drag. So the hand that's on the chin is too deep now. Now I am going to reach across my body and grab his elbow, okay? If I have to, I can pull it to get it deeper right here, okay? So I'll pull it and get it deeper and step that same side leg up. So this is his right hand, my left leg, same side body. Do I see that? Then I switch. Right here in free grip, like I'm climbing a rope. Here. Now all I'm doing is I pull across my body as I switch my knees and reach for the butt. Switch my knees as I pull this arm across my body, reach for the butt. Right here. Try not to go around the waist. Try to go to the butt and out hustling. Okay? I can get in trouble for going around the waist. So, top man's being a good dummy man. Getting this arm too deep, I pull it down. I got my leg up right here. I re-grip like I'm climbing a rope. 
All I'm doing is I switch my knees. Switch my knees as I pull this arm across my body. Here, going up the butt, grabbing the leg or butt crack, whatever you can get to. All right? One more time. Y'all are going to screw this up. There's a lot of guys not looking at me right now. Grabbing the arm. Where did I pull it? Where did I pull it? Alright, we got a minute left. Any questions for me? None? 